Cabaret is a musical steeped in world and musical theater history. It has launched the careers of countless actors and inspired directors, choreographers, and theater goers for nearly 60 years. When thinking of the imagery of Broadway, it's hard not to think of the Kit Kat Club, the MC, or our heroine, Sally Bowles. In order to fully understand the events and characters of Cabaret, we first need to understand its historical context. Cabaret begins in 1929 Germany, in the waning days of the Weimar Republic, as the Nazi party is beginning their ascent to power. While we know today the path that Germany was heading down and the atrocities the Nazi party would go on to perpetrate, the characters in the Germany you will see on our stage had already come through a great deal of political and social unrest and were looking for stability and peace. As World War I drew to a close, the German Empire was suffering under massive economic strain, the military was in disarray, and the Kaiser had been forced to abdicate. What was left of the German government convened in the city of Weimar to reform the German Empire into the German Republic, now often called the Weimar Republic. One of the first actions of the new government was to sign the highly unpopular Treaty of Versailles, which required the Germans to accept blame for World War I and pay the Allied powers billions of dollars in reparations. A period of substantial internal unrest followed as nationalists who didn't believe the Germans should have surrendered pushed back against the new republic and socialist government. Multiple assassinations and attempted coups, paired with a period of disastrous poverty and hyperinflation, put the new republic at significant risk of collapsing. Inflation was rising so quickly from 1920 to 1923, the exchange rate of the German mark to the US dollar had gone from 64 to 1 to more than 4 trillion to 1 that Germans began spending money as soon as they received it for fear that it would lose all its value by the very next day. Oddly, this spend it now mentality was beneficial for the arts as Germans were desperate to take their minds off their struggles and had no incentive to save. So despite the economic crisis, there was an explosion in the demand for popular entertainment like jazz clubs, dance halls, and theaters. In 1924, the German government struck a deal with the U.S., allowing them to borrow money from American banks using German industry and national properties as collateral. This stabilized the German economy and led to a brief period of recovery known as the Golden Years. Triggered by a combination of progressive social policies, a post-war urgency to live for the moment, close economic and cultural ties to the United States, and an influx of young people jaded by the war, a short cultural renaissance bloomed. Traditional German art was sidelined, and the new popular entertainments, the jazz clubs, dance halls, and cabarets rose to prominence. The cabarets of Weimar Germany were hugely popular entertainment venues, challenging conventions, offering biting satire and political commentary, and showcasing young talent from throughout the continent. They also became an integral part of a sexual revolution in Germany as the younger generations pushed back against the views and ideas of their parents. Young people thronged to Berlin from all around Europe, eager to experience the subversive vitality of its nightlife and culture. You could spend your morning at an art show, your afternoon at an outdoor jazz club, see a piece of theater over dinner, and then drink till you dropped into a late night cabaret. Cultures, sexualities, politics, and art forms collided and exploded around each other, and the live for the moment spontaneity of the Weimar golden years permeated every level of society. This golden period would prove to be short lived, however. While young people were dancing the night away in Berlin, in Bavaria, a former soldier named Adolf Hitler was gaining traction with his deeply nationalistic ideas for political reform. When the Great Depression hit the United States, American banks withdrew their credit from German companies and the just recovered German economy was devastated. In an effort to stave off recession, the Weimar government made significant cuts to social services, further fracturing their coalition government and causing widespread dismay and dissatisfaction, leaving a power vacuum that the Nazis aggressively burst into. In 1928, the Nazi party had less than 3% of the seats in the German government. By 1932, they had nearly 40. It is in this moment in history that the story of Cabaret begins on New Year's Eve of 1929. With the economy on the brink of collapse, 
the Cultural Revolution drawing to a close and just three years away from Hitler's ascent to the Chancellorship. The characters of Cabaret are trying desperately to hold on to the tenuous security they've built, even as it is beginning to fall apart around them.